news of course if you're a Kanye fan that you'll be happy about as most of you know Kanye has been online ranting and raving um, for anyone to hear regarding his issues he has with Gap he could, issues he has with Adidas and just issues in general with his family and whatnot and you know how he's perceived and the things that he feels are owed to him bloody blah 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 and he's had a, obviously a bit of a recent um, falling out it feels like with Adidas and Gap mostly and um, the Adidas stuff has been pretty interesting to watch from the si outside because I feel like there's a lack of understanding maybe or accept not acceptance lack of acceptance or maybe Kanye's side of things that there is always going to be a bit of give and, give and take when it comes to working with corporations I know because I've worked in them I've worked from everywhere between I've worked from everywhere from like a you know a small startup of like three people to like a mid-level company to like a small you know burgeoning startup to like a proper corporation where i'm like in a marketing team of like 500 people like i've done it all and what i've seen across the board especially over my time working and obviously of kind of observing things on the outside in is that for the most part when creatives do link up with corporations it should always be looked at as a very short-term kind of partnership however much synergy there may be in the beginning prior relationship um connection whatever it may be all that fluff that they kind of sell you in the beginning is always nice and cute because they want you to sign on a dotted line and obviously get that product out there to make the money for the board members but in the long and short of it it should always be a short and sweet partnership it should always be a creative coming in between I'd say three to five years, you know, delivering what they need to be delivered and then kind of going on their merry way. But this idea you can have long term creative partnerships with corporations and there not be any road bumps and there not be any, you know, issues of them kind of taking advantage of you or going back on their promises is incredibly naive, I feel like, in my opinion. But for some reason, when it comes to Kanye, he seems like on a one man mission to rewrite all those sort of like, um, what do you say? How do you call them? to rewrite all those um, conventional things that happen in business, right? He doesn't want to abide by convention. He wants to kind of go on his own route when it comes to his record contract, when it comes to how he presents shows. He's always somebody that wants to kind of push that forward. And the great thing about it is that he does it the unfortunate thing about it is that most likely he won't see the fruits of it or always be people coming behind him like you look at someone like a Virgil right um, Kanye had to go through all those pains that he had with Nike so that Virgil could have a pretty much a seamless kind of um, relationship with Nike where he was able to put out whatever he kind of wanted in terms of shoes or they would kind of keep coming back to him saying hey do you want to put out more stuff and he was like yeah 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 whereas with Nike with Kanye he felt like he had to push them to accept him to give more stuff I mean so clearly he has to kind of be the first one through the door to kind of give everyone else a chance to kind of get through when they come up come up behind him but there seems to be some good news on her horizon because um courtesy of this little update we have of the instagram account called kanye streams it says this is a screenshot taken from his instagram because obviously he deleted all this stuff because you know this is kanye he rants and raves about stuff and then i guess he gets um for what you call it he gets regret in the morning when you know it's that same regret you get when you get super smashed the night before and you end up dming people you shouldn't dm and you end up kind of regretting in the morning probably the same thing he's getting so this is a screenshot taken from kanye's um instagram account where he's writing these tweets on notes it feels like and then screenshot and then uploading onto instagram which is interesting he's not doing it on twitter i guess because there's more people on instagram i don't know whatever um or maybe because it's a more designy type place you'll get more traction that way who knows whatever it doesn't matter because it still ends up on both places anyway so it says as follows it says i could hear the joy in my team's voice today adidas don't want no smoke um no more smoke sorry the movie credits are rolling. The war wasn't about money. It was about control. Our families, our business, our story. So it's about control of our family, our businesses, of no, of our families, of our businesses, of our story, of our voice. I gave him the opportunity to settle this quietly. Now it's time for Gap. So clearly he's got what he wanted from Adidas in terms of maybe more involvement, more say so, because he was also moaning that for what it looked like, um, a lot of the Adidas or Yeezys that were coming out nowadays aren't coming out under his kind of proviso with his sort of permission he hasn't been the one sort of been approving some of the colorway choices some of the names he obviously made a big stink about saying that you know easy day wasn't something that he ever sort of like rubber stamped that occasion where they were basically selling loads of discounted it no loads of items from easy that had previously released or previously been released and kind of put really putting them out again and he didn't approve of that none of that at all and then of course some other colorways of shoes that he didn't approve of as well but the shoe thing was interesting because i think someone mentioned this on twitter as well this great account called Sokjig mentioned it and they featured this post actually um that was taken from a I think business insider interview that kanye did right and the tweet from Sokjig says as follows it said if it's true that kanye hasn't approved of a yeezy release in two years perhaps he regrets having hundreds of samples made for a to choose from which is true because 
because you know Kanye and Virgil are two of the same people right they work prodigiously hard they put out incredible amounts of work they are always iterating they kind of like to learn aloud they try to like to they kind of like to create physically and tactically they don't like to kind of you know put their colorways on the PDF they want to see it in 3D and because of that most likely companies like Nike and Adidas will see those colorways especially some that haven't been used especially ones that you've probably seen in that kind of um, Virgil exhibition that's been going around town or going around the country, sorry, in America, most likely you'll probably see some of those models come out in a non-off-white way with the, the similar sort of colorways. Be prepared to see it because it always does happen. And maybe, as uh, Sokchik is pointing out here, Kanye basically displaying and kind of, you know, putting it out there or showing off the amount of iterations of shoes that he was tweaking with in terms of different sort of hues and palettes and finishes and whatnot. Maybe this whole entire sort of like flex was actually... Um, ill-advised because maybe Adidas saw this as an opportunity to just pluck all these colors that they could easily put in their sort of like release calendar and drop when need be and the, and the added thing about it is that all these colors are very much in line with what Kanye does so there was no you know until Kanye said what he said I don't think anyone really thought um, any of the colors that we've seen recently are non-Kanye ones we just assumed there was something that he was already doing so the fact that they're not stuff that he was doing or they're not stuff he approved of is pretty shocking but also quite clear that maybe some of the Adidas designers might have picked him you know chose some of these colors that he already presented and put out there and left in the studio and sort of put those out there as being the thing to kind of make work and obviously someone's got another picture here from 2020 showing the colorways that come out and I think they mentioned a tweet here this person right they said um, this photo from 2020 is pretty accurate practically every colorway that's released in the past two years is here and the funny thing about it is that all these colorways are ones that Kanye allegedly had designed because I always thought because when he said what he said my immediate thing was to go down to these um was it uh, what are they 700s right I immediately thought some of the 700s that came out didn't especially this kind of aqua blue with this kind of burnt orange midsole as much as I enjoyed that colorway I remember when I first saw it, I immediately thought, is that a real Kanye colorway? Would he put a shoe out with that much paneling with those many different colors? Like, it didn't make any sense at the time. But looking back at it, this does make any sense because these are all shoes that Kanye or colorways that Kanye was showing off during that uh, Business Insider interview. So clearly there was some sort of understanding or acceptance that these were the shoes that they were kind of trying to make. Look, they got some nice boots there. The back look really great. So I don't know. I don't know like i said before i think online i think it is mostly self-serving when kanye goes on these rants he's not really looking out for people he's mostly looking out for himself because you know he's a pretty selfish individual and most people would regard him as being a consummate narcissist narcissist or whatever it may be um but obviously the great thing about it is that because he's still making stuff like shoes and fashion he still gets the service of people so even though he's all about himself it does end up kind of benefiting us in society and consumers you know at large because we get to enjoy the stuff that he basically has to fight and claw for but he did kind of play some part in it himself i think in terms of the kind of mess he created but i'm glad to hear they did get it sorted so hopefully now he's going to move on to gap and then hopefully then just leave us the fuck alone because hearing him complain about this sort of stuff online is getting a bit annoying but what do i know